just let me go. Please. You're still in denial. They just see you as a dead body on the slab. Only I can see you as you really are. But I'm not dead! I don't want to give it away, but uh, it all started with this image of a woman waking up on the lying on the slab in the funeral home and uh, she wakes up, she's being prepared by this mortician and uh, she says, where am I? And uh, he says, you're dead, you're in a funeral home, uh, your, your burial is in three days. And that's the beginning of the story. Please don't hurt me. How could I hurt you? You're already dead. What happens okay. after you die? You know, I was always, since I was a child, I was fascinated by death, but I was also terrified by it. And I think, you know, death is number one primal fear that we all have. And, um, and I wanted to explore it. I wanted to explore what happens after you die, what happens with your body, but most importantly, what happens with your soul. Is there maybe some sort of, I don't know, consciousness, some sort of, you know, mom and transitional period where that consciousness, consciousness or soul stays with you and, um, and you're able to reflect on your life and come to terms with, with your death. You don't understand. You don't understand. My father died when I was 10, and um, he died on Christmas Day. Um, I was the one who found him, and, and he was 33 years old. So, um, you know, obviously that left that impact, and truly there's not one day that I don't think about death. Now, not in a morbid sense, actually. I kind of, it usually happens in the morning. I don't know why. It usually happens where I'm in the bathroom, like brushing my teeth or something. I look in the mirror. It's always about the mirror that brings these thoughts about death. I don't know why, but, you know, I always think about living life. So I always realize, okay, there's not much time left. We don't know how much time we have.